Charlie is back. One time for your man. Here we go. Yeah, last time I was on here, I was talking about my Ayuma Hamazaki frame when uh, I was like broadcasting some stuff about my upload on my video. And right now, you know, in the background, I got something warming up in the microwave. But yeah, this is my girl's day. So um, uh, I wanted to get, give a, a shout out to uh, Jessica Gonzalez. Her birthday's tomorrow. You know, on the 1st of September, so, you know, that's a blessing from God. You know, she's a beautiful being. I love her. She's conceited, but, you know, she's my big piggy baby, you know, my piggy back, you know. I'm the potato boy right here, you know, for life. And um, I'm just kicking it over here at the same table, you know, man of my business and shit, doing what I do with you, you know, but feeling like it is, you know. Let's get things to the point, like, where I should tell you, like, it ain't about being fake right now because, um... Yesterday, we went down there to Chicago, and I spent the whole night out there on the west side, and, you know, it was pretty interesting because, you know, I enjoyed the day, even though I gave my girl and sacrificed my check for her to have a day to herself. She still, you know, put me together. You see, I'm matching today. You know, she got me together like this, and you know, I feel appreciated that, you know, my woman, you know, not she male. I'm talking about actual woman from Jesus and God that created the original being God of the world, or the original being creations from God. I meant to say, yeah, she can be just as good as God and her creations on this earth too. But yeah, we're going to get to that, that subject right now. That subject right now. I didn't study, but let me stop the food right now. Yeah, recently, you know, people have been missing out on what I've been doing and all I've been doing is trying, you know, live as a father figure and trying to do things, you know, on my own right now. I'm 27 years old. You know, I'm trying to raise some kids, you know, be a good father figure and, and not, you know, you know, mislead them, misguide them, you know, not have a spoon for them to have, you know, every night. And, you know, make sure, you know, I'm going to be what I can do, you know, be what I can not take to do, you know, figure out it, you know. But, yeah, long story short, um... It ain't no pressure. Jesus is with me, you know. He always sends my messages to Jehovah all the time. So whatever happens, you know, I count on God, you know. Even in my dream world, I saw the shooting. I saw the weed connection. I saw all these niggas over here doing it before it happened. So y'all niggas can't fool me when y'all thinking y'all out there mafia doing shit with gangs and whatever y'all call yourself by selling drugs. Because it ain't shit to me, man. I've been sold drugs for what, what a week? What made, what, $50 off of it? And what, and what, the one day? So that's how y'all live and y'all live in y'all like the fast life, just like I can go eat a burger at the McDonald's. That's it. You wanna go, you wanna provide for your family for real, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Do it the preventable way. Like how you can do it, you know. You know, not preventable, but the, the possible way, as in not preventable for what that excuse is for what they got going on, but the possible way. Yeah, I love my hair though today. You know, I had to get it off, you know. I gotta get it off like this. Penny brown red. But, uh, yeah, my girlfriend, you know, she should be doing, you know, her thing, you know, on there, over there. And uh, we just chilling over here. And, you know, I got me some food to eat. And I'm going to just dig in right now. You know, going to go look at some website videos and uh, go back on YouTube later on, see what's happening. Um, I can't call my dad and my mama right now because they ain't, you know, on my side right now either. Or my sister, so, you know, they love me, but they care, you know, but uh, my room is just junky. It ain't really dirty, you know. I got my poster in the background and shit, otaku for life. And all my otakus out there are fabulous, you know, exquisites out there. My samurai ex sword players and my beetle babies out there who drink the ipaikaras, you know, from the last land to the other land to this land. I say congratulations on Medito and have a blessed night, you know. I met you, not anybody else, like Pikachu. And we true to the day we die. So, you know, but cut it short. Ain't no joking around right now because um, I'm trying to be serious about this. How we just went over there to the um, Cicero Hibachi restaurant today it was awesome. I felt the good presence of God because we prayed uh, last Monday at the church before I went to the Japanese society. And, I, you know, I showed you that previous video of the red, not the red, I meant to say um, this video was looking like it's going to turn out to be red. But... I looked at the last video and I had a, 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 a excuse me, my English is terrible, sorry crowd, but I had a yellow flower, there we go, universal style, you know, here we go, and there we are, you know, I'm still here, you know, praying God, praying to God, sorry for my English, it's still terrible, my pronouns, my plural, 
my plurals are terrible because I'm trying to talk, but ain't no professional when you got a human body to get organs out, you know. You know, I'm trying to sound the voice out. And, you know, basically I, I can speak a whole language other than this, but how many languages would you prefer? One language, two languages, mm, three, you know, made to speak what English, Japanese, and no, you privilege is Japanese and Spanish. You got to be made to speak that because you stand over here in a Hispanic neighborhood and, you know, the bullshit that happened whenever it happened, you know, I just heard what, uh, two days ago that something happened and shit and there's some crazy ass shit, man, going on around here. I already told y'all guys that it wasn't no joke and I need a free lawyer as it is from my case. What y'all want me to be the next victim by the police to get shot at? That's what I'm telling y'all. And they saw they already sent me to a McNeil twice already for speaking Japanese and screaming outside. I'ma keep with the riot, even though even even though excuse me for my language is terrible. Even though I don't have the right you know skills or the right you know potentials in the matter for to bring out the people that can have and march on like soldiers right now with me. We can have a line of motherfuckers that's right down the street right now. Marching just to go to Japan right now. If you're not down with me, I'll be the same one that's out there. And they can come see me when they feel like they need to come see Charlie. Because Charlie in the Chocolate Kojo, he going to stay cool, you know. Emojo style, you know. I'm going to keep up with the artwork. You know, I'm going to get back into that sooner or later. It's just that I'm in transitioning right now. So my housing is just, you know, in, in jeopardizing moments. And I'm just trying to see, like, you know, my, my house is in risk. I meant to say it's in risk right now. So... When you think about risk, what do you think? Like, yeah, you probably ain't going to have nowhere to go because they, they want to put you around this nigga neighborhood. And you already see that, you know, they already shooting up people down the street. So basically we claim to be niggas or we, we, we are who we are because that's what they put us as. So, you know, that's why I was trying to complain about the cops over here and there was part to everybody. So, you know, you have to see somebody die. So I guess that's what y'all like to do. So, you know, this world ain't free. And I guess you got evil people, like I showed you just now, because now you can go on the news and see like Merrill's Park is really, you know, in a fucked up as illegal situation. So now that I just proved my point, I'm out there every day trying to march and start a riot. I don't care if they kill me. I could be the next to die. I'm still be on my shit. I'm on the west side every day now. I got me a new woman. I know I love Ayuma Hamazaki. I know I love Ventomico. They will stay with me and my Japanese soul to the day I die. But you know, I already got a physical reality going on, you know, and I want a baby one day by this woman that I'm with. You know, she beautiful, you know. She 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 get the hibachi outfit on me yesterday. I know y'all saw my page from Charlie Chan. She had the hibachi with the, the black silk on and the shit over that. A black kimono rose, man. I was like, damn. She's big chubby chubby, but you know, it's good, you know. But uh, you know, we chunky with it anyway, so you know, it's nothing it's nothing wrong with it, you know. I stuttered. Yeah, that's how you know it's too good for you. Taking it slow, you know, like romance should be. That's how it should be. So, you know, I ain't gonna pull my wig off because my hair can't grow. But who thought is that? You know, why her hair didn't grow, right? So, you know, being homeless for two years can it put a can put a toll on your life where you're just out there on the streets. So, yeah, I get to flash it out. New wig, new dress, you know. Girlfriend left left her jacket with me. <laughs> Got pants yet. Everything from solitude to ghost in the shell right now. You know, the Motoko Kusanaki. Oh, hell yeah. I did the hairstyle. That's why my hair should have been still here. It turned blonde from the side effects, you know. But um, I could have kept it. But I was like, nah, I'm going to cut my hair since my hair grew like about four inches in like a month. And they could have kept braiding it. Nah, they couldn't keep back the, you know, the crap. So... You know, once you, you know, break the craft rules and you just, like, stop doing someone's hair and you just see, like, uh, damn, like, uh, that guy is homeless and you just you give up on a person. That's what people did to me. But, you know, I'm already, you know, I'm grateful to God. You know, I can wear a wig, so I don't give a fuck. If I don't ever grow this shit on my head. So it matters just how you feel about, you know, what the help comes from and what you can do about what's, what you're holding on to inside. Re release, you know. Like, you can't prevent nothing from stopping the bee inside of you, you know. Let it go. That's what we all, we all got to go through. So, here we go again. I'm looking at the phone. does not harm me still. So, that's a blessing. So, I never forgot about, you know, the message they put, you know, in their songs every time they rap. So, it ain't like I'm listening to some fake-ass hood shit on the west side right now about some mumbles and shit about 
oh, you did this, but you ain't explaining what you're doing in your reality, you know, how you're going to be, how you're going to present yourself, you know, how you're going to look for people out there, you know, can you wear, can you do me? Can you put yourself out there to do what I do? Can you hold it down like I had held it down the whole fucking 27 years and shit, man? Because you can't look at my YouTube and say like, oh, damn, this guy is like older than he looks, man, because he made all that shit. So how did he live that long? I'm going to tell you how I lived that long from working and working and working in my mind every day and just letting loose, you know, not holding shit in like gangsters and thugs and hiding about shit. When you just release that shit and be a true, true God's witness, a true Jehovah's witness or a true being from God, you know, you're not necessarily, you not, you don't necessarily have to be Christian or Jehovah's witness, but more actually having faith with God and having a relationship with the creator in heaven. Cause he can show me shit, you know, and I ain't going to say curse because I'm saying shit to him in his presence, but I'm saying he can show me it. So yeah, that's all I had to say today. You know, baby, get it going, you know. I'm proud for you. Not proud, and I'm more happier than proud. Proud is somebody with pride, so uh, I'm happy for you. Yeah, I can be gay for my woman, and I'm going to tell you, have that baby, baby, because I'm ready for you, you know. I'm going to start doing some new shit, you know. Once they move me out of the situation, I'm out the hood. I'm on the better side of the hood where we can speak Japanese and shit. So we're going to continue this, and Charlie and the Chocolate Kojo has the Gucci out of it. I'm out of here.